Hi, this is Atish and welcome to the cryptography course. Hope you are enjoying the course. And now let's move ahead and try to explore more things. Before we jump into the more deeper things on the cryptography, first we should understand what we are dealing with, how we can deal with and what are the base foundations of cryptography. So let's get started. In the cryptography, I would like to focus on the three major topics here the confidentiality, integrity, and the availability. Data security is a very critical topic. At first, it seemed to be very simple as we just have to protect, but protection of physical thing is very easy thing as compared to information and that to in digital world. The key objective in cryptography includes the following thing, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. These three words may look simple, but any experienced cryptanalyst can tell you that these are the most complicated words of digital world. Let's take a few minutes and talk about these in detail. Confidentiality, as the name suggests, data or information should be kept confidential. Information should be made available only to a few and important resources. If information get disclosed to unauthorized individual, then he can cause serious actions against you. The first thing that might hit to your brain is top secret military information, but there are other serious information too. A loss of confidentiality is the unauthorized disclosure of information. Let's take a very simple example for which most of you might not be so much aware, the FERP Act, that is Family Education Rights and Privacy. This act says that great information should only be available to the students, their parents and the employees that require the information to do their job. But we can see how easily the information is disclosed around the web by many schools and universities. Sometimes you don't like to publish your personal mobile number on the web for privacy. Breaking this level of confidentiality is not that much of trouble, but imagine the high risk scenario factors. Just one more example can be leakage of your PayPal account, email and password over the internet. So I hope you got the point how confidentiality is important. Another is integrity. Integrity of data assures that information is changed only in a specific manner and also by authorized person only. A loss in integrity is the authorized modification or unauthorized modification or destruction of information. The top example of all to the show the value of integrity is by using hospital information example. The doctor should be able to trust the information stored in the database. If any person is updating the data, then the person responsible for it should be traceable. For example, if a person is having diabetes and this information is deleted without the knowledge of doctor. Now imagine a scenario where doctor operates a person without having the information that patient is diabetic. This can lead the entire hospital in trouble. Any hacker can also get into your bank account and can change your balance digits. Of course, everyone would love to change from $100 to $10,000, but reverse is the most likely to happen. Availability. The continuous service is available to all legitimate users of service is very important. A loss in availability is the disruption of access to use the information. Imagine what the use of information is if it's not at all available. Most likely example is the time of your result. Whenever the result is declared, the result site is feeling heavy traffic and most likely to get shut down for all users. Imagine a critical update for antivirus software which was necessary to protect your system and is not available for you for 20 days. Now, I'm not talking about the antivirus which you have taken free. I'm, taking, I'm talking about the antivirus for which you have paid let's say $2,000 and you got a severe loss with the viruses that might be worth valuable of $1 lakh. Dollars. So these three words are the basic backbone of internet. Although a couple of related words are also like here, like authenticity and accountability. But I think that I consider these three big guns which are needed to be covered and rest will cover up automatically during the course. Okay, so one more thing, what are the challenges in cybersecurity? 
Now cyber security is not that simple as it first looked like. It's an in-depth topic and fascinating too. The goals are straightforward, self-explanatory, but mechanism used to fulfill the requirement is very complex. While developing any protocol or let's just be simple, while developing any application, one should take care of all security aspect at the time of development of even at the planning stage. After implementation is always expensive in terms of money as well as consequences. Hacker's job is always to exploit the unexpected weakness and most of the time the weakness is too obvious. The creation, distribution and protection of that information is always too complex with security implementation. And this is the reason why most of the programmers left this messy security things around. Computer and network security is essential battle of wits between preparator who tries to find holes in the system and designer of the system or you can call admin of the system. The administration has to focus on all variables that can cause intrusion, but intruder can has to just focus on a single point to get into the system. And this makes things more challengeable for the administrator, of course, not for the hackers. Security is still an afterthought to be incorporated into the system after the design is complete rather than being an integral part of the design process. Security requires regular, even constant monitoring, and this is very difficult in today's short term and overloaded environment. We'll see more about all these th things and we'll discuss a lot more details about the cryptography in later videos. And make sure that you share all these videos with your friends and keep enjoying the series.